to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well and um, yeah here we are just about to start another episode of building Jar Road Station and um, we have one wall up now it's time for Bob the Bricky to pull his finger out and get the other wall up I'm just going to sit back and watch him this time. So, let's get started. Meanwhile, back at the bench, I have started to mark out the walls for the various heights um, that I'm going to need and the spacings for the brick um, columns, if you like. Um, so we got from the baseboard um, to the height of the platform, 18mm, and then from the platform to the underside of the windows is 13mm. So the overall height from the baseboard to the underside of the windows is 31mm. Um, we've had a little bit of uh, bad news, apparently according to the foreman here. Um, Bob the Bricky has bought a caravan and taken a week's holiday. So we haven't got a Bricky. So looks like I'll be doing them myself under the watchful eye of Mr. Foreman here. Is that right? Oh yeah, laddie, I hope you get those lines nice and straight. Yeah, right away, Foreman. Yep, yeah, I'm on it. He's a bit bossy, that foreman. Anyway, so here are the doors and windows that we had made and painted oh, many weeks back. So it's, it's straightforward this side. Um, but what I might do with the doors is when I place them in the center, I might cut a millimeter out below the baseboard and then from the other side uh, on the on the road side is have a, a plinth a concrete plinth that sticks out a little bit so we'll, we'll cut a millimeter out of there and we'll lay a piece of uh, one millimeter card in there and uh, which will protrude onto the road side um, which we'll see as as we go along so basically we've got nine windows and we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen spaces. So where we have a door I might miss out a window or something like that. Um, or I might miss a window at the beginning and then start the windows from then on. And then leave a blank one at the other end of the wall that way. So there'll be some sort of pattern going on here, but uh, we, we won't find out until the wall is done. So all I've got to do now is mark the centre lines for all these partitions, if you like, and then we can get cracking. The doors and the windows have all been marked out, so I've changed the blade, got a brand new blade in there, because uh, this card is too well thick and it does take a bit to push the blade through so we're just cracking on with that and removing these pieces of card in the middle um, I did hear a rumour that Bob the Bricky was involved with the hole in the wall gang a few years back um, although the boss was caught the driver got away and um, yes, it seems to me that Bob the Bricky was that driver. Shame really, he's a good Bricky. All right, laddie, that's enough yapping. Come on, almost, this has got to be done this week. I promised the chairman. Right away, foreman, right away. Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, yeah, he was involved with the hole in the wall gang robbery. I'm glad the foreman's gone. 
really crack on with getting on with doing this. So I'll just pop them out. Yes, yeah, so I've just cut just inside the line and the windows themselves should have a little bit room for the card as well. So they're a nice snug fit. You've seen me do these before. So it's starting to come along. Um, what I've done here is I've added the thicker card to the inside um, of the station wall and um, I've cut through from the front and then I've just gone round and tidied up the edges making sure that the, the brick marks are in line and making sure that the cuts are nice and straight. Um, you probably will see these on the inside um, so what I'll, what I'll do is I'll touch up these edges with some paint um, before I put the windows in. Now on the front side uh, we use the paper sheet and um, this 18mm here is for the main big supporting wall like we've seen on platform 2 uh, where the capping stone sits on the top. So yeah now you know where I'm going with this now it's more or less what I've done um, with previous windows and doors I will mark 2mm in, 2mm in and then cut, cut and then fold them round uh -huh. so that's what we're, we're going to do now we're going to continue putting the brick sheet on the outside this is what I mean about cutting the brick sheet and then folding it round because um, what I did was I had measured 3mm from that edge to that edge, scored a line, cut it and then fold the flap round. Um, you've seen me do this many times before but in this case where we're going to see the brick edges on both sides um, I've kept checking to make sure we have a nice neat edge because you will see this edge even though it's on the inside of the station uh, on the platforms you will see it uh, normally at this stage I would glue the windows in um, but this time I'm leaving them out but I'm still checking to make sure that the windows fit in there nice and snugly uh, yeah it, this is like I said it is the back side of the wall um, there will be uh, lintels and windowsills going in um, like we've done already and this is what it looks like on the front obviously it's got to come forward a little bit more but as you can see it's it's a pretty neat fit fit well I'm waiting for the paint to dry on these corners um, I've been adding the pillars and the supporting card ready for the canopy so it's a bit uh, like uh, deja vu at the moment doing <laughs> similar work like we did last week but uh, once all these cards dry we can start fitting the doors and windows but in the meantime we'll just carry on putting these supports in Now we can start putting the windows in. So I've put in a couple there and uh, I've also added the door. Now you remember earlier on I had cut a 1mm slot away uh, on this side, which I'll just quickly turn around. On this side and now I've put back a piece of card level with the platform. Now the idea here is to create a ledge on the outside 
and uh, I think I have done that. So it's just a, another little detail. It's just so that the lorries can back up, or the trucks can, can back up, and then they just unload the goods. And having that little ledge there, or step, um, yeah, just adds another little bit of detail. I shall now plough on with the windows. Now that I've added the lintels and window sills and door ledges, I can now paint these up to match the paintwork um, of the building. And uh, if I flip it over, you can see I've done more or less the same on the other side. There's still some more supports to put in first before I uh, start painting them up. So it's progress, we're getting there. Here we are, we're back at Jarrow Road, where I've just placed the wall up against the platforms, just so you can get a rough idea of what the station approach is going to look like. And, um, yeah, so far so good. We've still got a fair bit left to do. I've got the lintels and the sills to paint, and I've still got the capping and the large capping stone to add yet. And uh, this is what it's going to look like on the outside. So as you can see, I'm quite close to the edge of the baseboard there. That's roughly about 80 millimeters. So it's just enough for a little road. And uh, that's just about it. So yeah, we've come on a long way um, this week. But I knew this wall would take longer to do than the other wall because there was no cutting out at all on that side but here we've had to cut away for the doors and windows oh you leave me alone you're nicked oh hold on what's going on over there Oi, you stop where you are what for what for what have i done You've been going by the name of Bob Thompson, the bricky over at Jarrow Road. Yes, so what of it? Well, we know you as Tony Quintilirio. You're part of the Hold of the Wall gang. You've come back to collect your money. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. You're Nick. So it's true. He was the driver that got away from the hole in the wall gang. Wow, would you have believed it? Such a craftsman as well. Oh well, never mind. Who would have believed it, eh? Right, so that's all from me this week. See you again next week. Bye for now. Bye.